interesting studies about aging have been done in disability studies, and we're finding out we really don't know a lot about aging. Um, that we really need to, to learn more, especially from people who are experiencing aging, because um, the, the way we treat people of a certain age, we sort of do alienate them. So in a way, that the jump, although it's very surprising, you're like, oh, plot twist, and it's a very, very smart short film. Um, in a way, you then have to think, oh, why did he put these thing, two things together? Um, people who are ostracized in society and placed away in homes to sort of die outside of society, you know, they're kind of like the ultimate alien, or maybe not ultimate, but they, they really have a lot in common with sort of otherworldly um, creatures because we, we suffer with I like third letter, I don't know if I got in there, but I like everything else was good. The scenes at the pawn shop with, with Ethiopian jazz, they're a masterpiece. They're beautiful. I mean, it's the dialogue. It's like out of David Lynch. It's to, to crack up. You know, each time the guy negotiates prices for each of the different things, <laughs> it's, it's it's wonderful. I mean, and it's all interspersed. Uh, I mean, in, in such a magical way. But beyond that, the beauty of the shots. Each, oh, I mean, yeah. I've seen it. I've seen it several times, and he, and each time I see it again, you know, it's like. A retina imprint, it has a lot of beautiful images. Uh, I just thought it was interesting that all the historical inaccuracies, like, you know, Michael Jordan, he was God apparently. Um, he was God. He was God. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jackson's apparently a farmer in his first life, in his darker skin life, I guess. Like, all these different things are going on. The only thing that was historically accurate, at least from what we see, is Santa Claus. I was going to actually say, we, we laugh at all these things, but then. The way we do treat like sports phenoms, we do kind of treat them like gods. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, sort of the juxtaposition of how we treat Santa Claus like that to us seems more accurate. But then if you extrapolate, like we do kind of worship like Michael Jackson. Um, we worship, I mean, like rightly, but <laughs> and, we, and we worship like these fantastic basketball stars.